My second mission was a target over Perugia, Italy. And when we got over the target, flak began, began to come up so thick that we didn't know whether we were going to get through it or not. But we didn't. Early afternoon, May 25th, Sergeant Russell Scott's crew, along with 95 other B-25 bomber crews and four English fighters left the base with the mission of destroying a railroad bridge in South Faculia, Italy. While cruising over Perugia, they found themselves surrounded by flak. Moments later, a direct hit sent them crashing towards the ground. They were the only crew to go down that day. When I got up there with my chute and everything on, we couldn't get the door open. So I went back to the tail and knocked the tail hatch off. And I come out the tail of the ship, sat on the wing of the tail, and looked down, looked up, turned loose, and down I went. And when I hit the ground, I hit in a ravine and my feet went out from under me and I sat right there and broke my back. From there, the Germans took Scott to various imprisonment sectors throughout Europe. Finally, they stopped at loft number one at Barth, Germany. By the end of the war, this prison held over 7,700 American prisoners. So they moved 1,500 of us out there by train. But before they started to move us, there was talk that Hitler was going to march us across Germany naked. This did not happen, as the Russians soon made their entrance. The 1st of May, we were liberated by the Russian Cossacks, and they knocked the gate down that we could go out. Our American officers wouldn't let us go out, so the Russians, they knocked the gates down so we couldn't get out. So we, we went into the town of Bath, Germany. So then when they started moving the planes in to carry us out of there, I think we stayed there about a week and a half, two weeks after we were liberated. And they brought B-17s into the airport and uh, took us out of there. Nearly seven decades after the war, Russell Scott, the recipient of two Purple Hearts and the Air Medal, lives alone. Now on Tuesdays, I volunteer at the VA hospital in Richmond. On Wednesdays, I volunteer at the Virginia War Memorial. And on Sundays, I'm in my church. My wife died in, well, my first wife died in 05, 03. And I married this girl that just died in September of last year. Uh, I married her in 05. And we enjoyed life, and I really miss her. When people ask him how old he is, Russell tells them, I'm seven years old. I said, when I got to 50, I started downhill. I says, so now I am seven years old. I says, next year I'll be six years old. Everybody said, well, what are you gonna do when you get down to zero? I said, I'm gonna turn around and go back up the hill. 